you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk, and I'm actually at Tampa Bay Airport on the way to go back to uh, Newark, New Jersey. That's where I live. I'm from Jersey. Um, but I'm actually, I was in Florida to visit a treatment center, a treatment center that specializes in first responders. And uh, I don't just deal with just first responders, but they have a specialized program for first responders. And the name of the treatment center is Transformations. And it's, it's great. It's connected to two good friends of mine, uh, husband and wife, a um, correction professionals who are now retired and now have a company called Respond in which they kind of help. It's like an emerging assistant, employee assistant program that helps out um, employees in crisis or first responders in crisis uh, gearing towards addiction. And you know, our, our profession, our profession uh, has a lot of stressors. So. Uh, we did a series of interviews, uh, covered a lot. I mean, we really did, and those interviews will be posted on this channel shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to show you a live video I did on Facebook that came out at the end of the interviews. Basically, the interviews were done, the whole day of shooting was complete, and uh, I just did a closing video. And I thought that video was pretty much on point with my experience. So I'm going to go ahead and share that video with you guys. And as always, guys, love you guys, stay safe in everything I do. It's been for you guys. If you like this page, guys, or like this YouTube channel, like, engage, subscribe. That's the key. Give us a venue. Oh. I sorry, guys. I'm going to do it again because the video came out as a as a portrait, and obviously that's uh, I want to keep it flat. So again, I'm finishing up my trip here, Transformations. I'm at Delray Beach, Florida, uh, and I kind of met up with some great people. I took a tour of Transformations. I also met up with uh, a husband and wife, uh, Gary uh, Willett and Aida Willett, who run Respond. It's a program that actually connects us to um, places like Transformations. So again, Transformations is a place that doesn't just treat first responders, uh, but the reason why I chose this place is because this place has a special program for first responders and the dedication comes from those who uh, in some cases have worked the field. Uh, one of the people I've interviewed who will be on the show, I guess you'll see the video in a few weeks, had 30 years in the field. Uh, the, the husband and wife who run Respond also work uh, in corrections. They have a lot of years in the field. So you have people that can relate to us and kind of lift that wall, you know, that, that wall that most of us may use as an excuse to seek help. So it's great to see that we have somebody who can relate to us and who can understand what our needs are. And then also, you know, you know, kind of defend against, uh, you know, why we should be here, because obviously we, we know there's myths of, you know, uh, well, the, we can't be vulnerable. The job's going to get rid of us and whatever the case may be. And now you have people that tell you that's not the case. So what I learned here today is that it's most important for us to be proactive, you know, why, wait in, why are we waiting for someone to be totally broken when we can get to them when they're breaking? Which means instead of them having to adjust to the pieces that are broken, we can get to them prior to all that happening. And it's a matter of, 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 of before someone breaks, like being proactive and being preventive. And that's why I think it's a very big, uh, it, it's very important for agencies to connect with groups like or organizations or companies like Respond and Transformations because, you know, you're showing that you're proactive, you're showing that you care enough to do the right thing. And in this case here, like if you take about the incident in North Carolina, you had four staff members that were killed in, in a potential escape. Another officer, a female officer killed in April when she was attacked by uh, an inmate with a fire extinguisher. You know, this, there's a lot of stressors in that environment. And these brave men and women have to go back to those environments, you know, and they can't avoid those stressors. So how do we teach people how to adjust to that, how to process that, you know, and, and that's big. And also, most importantly, how do we teach people that they need that, that they need that help. So today was just a great dialogue, a bunch of, a bunch of professionals who ultimately at the end of the day reminded us that we're not alone, that you don't have to wait to have that gun in your hand to say that you need help. You know, you can literally get help now, you know, be directed and be covered, be covered. That's the key. And I have a lot of sponsors. I, I, I kind of pick and choose at this point. I wouldn't be associated with them if I didn't believe in their cause, if I wasn't connected to two individuals like Gary Willett and Aida Willett, who have literally, I've known for years, who associated me with them. And they wouldn't be connected to transformations if they didn't believe in what they were doing. So literally, this is trial and error here, guys. But literally, from what I've seen, this is the best. This is literally a family. So not only do we have a family behind the wall, we have a family here a family that's gonna seek the best for us and make sure that we're taken care of. And at the end of the day, the mission is always gonna be 
protect the protector. And for those in corrections who feel that they're forgotten, you're not. You're not alone. And you never were. Love you guys.